guys, my name is Sam and today I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon styling brush. The Revlon. Because <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. It's one step, not two. That's what I have to remember. Okay, shut up. Sam, shut up. Hey guys, my name is Sam and I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. And this is, you see, Revlon. There's a lot of off-brand stuff out there. This is the one you want. And you can tell because it's huge, it's like the size of my face, see? Everybody's asking me if it's worth it or not, and um, that's why I'm here today. So, if you wanna find out, you must keep watching. Well, just so you guys know, I am a heatless hairstylist person. I'm not certified, I just do it. On a daily, I always, always have hairstyles with no heat. I do my curls, I do different kinds of curls, I do braids, so using heat on my hair is really unusual. But ever since I purchased this product, I mean, I've been loving it. Even a person that does heatless hairstyles, they want to, they want to straighten their hair every once in a while, you know what I mean? Like, I want my hair pinned straight, or I want my hair voluminized, but mainly, everybody likes the hair with volume, they like it with character, and this bad boy is the thing to get. The reason why I love it is because it doesn't crush your hair like a flat iron like this. You know, flat irons, they go up to like 450 degrees and it just crushes your hair like this. You know, and this thing, it just, the air come out, comes out, come out. <laughs> the air comes out of these little holes right here. So that's where the air comes out. And the brush has these the little, I don't even know what it's called, the fuzzy bristles. So it's mixed with fuzzy bristles and it's mixed with um, regular bris bristles, I think that's what it's called, I don't even know. But yeah, so when you use it, it grips your hair really well. The wire is fairly long. I say, how long is this big? This is like about five or six feet. So it's not too short, it's not too long. It's great. It has the same look as a blow dryer. So when you connect it, you press this button. Let me show you guys more, because you know, focus. My hair right now is natural. I just got, I got out of the shower like two hours ago and I let it air dry. I didn't brush through it yet. So you guys see my natural hair isn't pinned straight. Um, you know, pretty much healthy because again, I don't use heat and I had it chopped after my lovely wedding. The only thing that I have in my hair right now is this. It's an oil by, uh, you know, I really don't know how to pronounce this. Garnier Fructis. And I don't know, you guys figured it out. Look. It's pretty good. I mean, it's really, really, really oily, so I don't use too much. But this is the only thing I have in my hair. I'm just gonna brush it out. It's good to brush your hair out because you don't want the Revlon brush to detangle your hair. That's gonna be a whole mess. So you wanna brush it out. Your hair's gonna look poofy. See? So, this is the settings. It has cool, it has low, and high. But I always use the high heat right here. I put it on high because low really, like, not much comes out. This is how it sounds. My hair just comes out here. I don't know if you see my hair blowing. Not really. So the way I do my hair is I do it as if I'm straightening it or curling it. I just start with the bottom piece. I don't do beautiful um, sectioning. I just section. I use this lovely thing. It doesn't...
So I just moved the camera down so that you guys can see the top now. But guys, like, this is how it comes out. It comes out so nice. If you want to pin straight, then this isn't going to work for that, just so you guys know. This is not, I mean, the curve of the brush. It's not meant for pin straight, so this is just meant to have a blowout look. And as you can see, it gets really hot. Look at my ears. <laughs> they right. But yeah, it, it really gives a really great uh, definition to the hair. And then sometimes when you go to the salon, this isn't what you get. I mean, I guess depending on the salon you go to, but guys, I give this product an A, honestly. If anything, like with any issues, like a B, because it's just two in one instead of, you know, learning how to do a blowout on yourself rather than holding it and then using a brush and going like that like it's just not easy especially if you're just really not a stylist yourself but you want to get your hair done i highly recommend this thing i mean you see what it does like you witnessed i've shown you and this is what it looks like guys it's just amazing <sighs> set up tall so you guys can see everything you can let your hair curve depending on the direction you want it to curve but it's just amazing and I don't know if you guys noticed but I was also holding this end while I was doing my hair it just allows you to use both of your hands so you know you won't use this just one hand so I really love that this thing it's not that it doesn't get hot at all like it gets a little hot but to the point not to the point where you burn like you can just hold it you know you can hold it and rotate it with your fingertips so I love that. This has barely any cons. Like all the pros to this is that it's two in one, obviously. It does the job. It doesn't take long to heat up either. It heats up like a lot actually. Like the heat that comes out of this is actually just as strong as a I would say a professional hair blow or like blow dryer, whatever it's called. This is the real deal guys, like this this brand, okay? This brand. Because there's a lot of other ones that they made out there that look like this, make sure you get Revlon because this one, the, the bristles are created better, the heat that comes out of it is amazing. It's just a great product guys. My only con to this is this just gets really heavy especially when you start getting to the top because it's so big. So the weight 
it, it's like it just gets heavy after a while it does it gets heavy on my arm starts to tire out but I would say really like that's it that that's the least of my worries other than that it is really hot though look at my ears so yeah this is just amazing guys as far as pricing this thing I think in the stores is like $60 and if anybody knows me they know I ain't paying that at all yep so actually the, I got this around Christmas and I don't know if it just came out around that time it was blowing up though on my social media so to me it was like new it was blowing up so I don't know how long this has been around but I got it this Christmas of 2019 that just passed and it was $35 and in the stores it was 60 but on Amazon right now it's $56 Unfortunately, like that sucks for us, but I guess that means that the product is really like that good So I'm assuming in the stores. It's more but I'm not entirely sure I would still recommend that you get it online because it's always gonna be cheaper online because you're not getting it in the store like You're in Ulta and you're getting it in the brand store like there's no need for that You just need you just need this brand and you can get it anywhere really I really hope that if you guys get it you find a good deal I would suggest getting it like when there's sales like Memorial Day or something like that but guys this is so worth it like I kid you not so now the way I end my hair styling to lock the style in place I'm gonna turn it on cool oh I forgot I just gonna turn it on cool And there you go guys so is this product worth it yes it is I give it an A plus the worst it could get is a B it better because honestly this this is a great product okay guys so if you like this video and you want to see more of these kinds of videos if you want to see more reviews on hair products how I do my heatless curls la di di da la di di da etc etc like Thank you.